found myself um, working on a bridge project. We were building a big bridge, and in this bridge, uh, there's there's a lot of rebar in this bridge, several thousand tons of rebar, and we're, we're using tens of thousands of hours of, of labor to, to install this rebar. So I understood, oh, this is this is a big thing. And then I saw the, the way we're doing it, and I, I was thinking, oh, isn't that something that we should be doing with robots? The Max came here to us by Ventures, so he um, had an interesting idea. And this was very really moro. And Max was for the first time so very really engaged in what he was doing. For the other side, he had an idea that passed very well in the behov we had. We are Ventures, a producer of beton elements, and he had a solution for how we could effectively do this. Så jeg tenkte, fantastisk, endelig noen som tar tak i noe som virkelig bransjen trenger. Den eneste måten jeg ser å løse fremtidige utfordringer på i vår bransje og andre bransjer, det er å øke robotiseringen. Jeg har vært arbeidet som konstruksjon ingeniør for store korporasjoner med flere tusen ansvarer. Og tradisjonelt er det at når jeg har vært i et konstruksjonsprosjekt, det har ikke vært noe tid for innovasjon. The construction companies have been relatively conservative. They, they don't really embrace um, the possibilities that are there with the new technologies. Many people are not aware of that rebar is what actually keeps the whole work together. Like almost every building, almost all our infrastructure is made of concrete and has rebar inside. Typically what the rebar installation looks like today is that you have this machine that we call a cut and bend machine that cuts and bends the rebars according to the drawings. Then you ship this to the construction site and then you have these 100 single pieces and assemble them into a complex geometric puzzle so that it can become a wall in the end. And here's how we do it. We, we take these 100 pieces directly from the machine that makes them, have a robot assemble them into what we call a cage. And by that, 90% of the labor is already done by a robot. Then you have this one big cage, you bring it to the construction site, and you have very little labor left on site. You just need to put it in place. So we have come to this point where we're using robots to do surgeries on humans, but out on the construction site, we still have the same hammer that we had 100 years ago. It's like a dull, repetitive, dangerous task that, of course, a robot should do that. Our mission is to boost productivity, safety, and sustainability in construction. And the way we do this is by automating rebar prefabrication with robots.